Hi guys, greetings of the day, myself Vijay Tavadhan and in this particular video lecture session I am going to show you a solution on projection of solids and an example problem is like this a pentagonal prism 25 mm sides of base and 60 mm axis length rests on HP on one of its edges of the base which is inclined at 30 degree to VP draw the projections of the prism when the axis is inclined to HP at 40 degree so according to the given condition with respect to a 25 mm side of a pentagon is supposed to be constructed with respect to one of its edges of the base now go to the applications macros run macro select the inside polygon which is available in this path and afterwards in the inside polygon click on the open the inside polygon a dialog box is going to be appear just wait for a while and now select the flat length the flat length of the pentagon is given as 25 millimeter and number of sides in the pentagon is 5 then click on apply relationship then press the cursor anywhere on the screen now one can see that we are going to get the required pentagon but the pentagon is supposed to be a continuous line with a 0.5 mm thing and it is a side resting we will construct the side resting pentagon like this now this is supposed to be you know, rotated in such a way that the side is going to be on the right side because we are rotating the solids in the clockwise direction so hence the side must be on the right hand side now make use of the line command with a thickness of 0 0.13 just draw the median lines now to draw the median lines one has to get the position like this now here midpoint is not shown go to tools intellisketch relationships switch on the midpoint and then connect the midpoint properly now this line is supposed to be a continuous line then make use of a line command with thickness of 0 0.3 just move the cursor on both the lines we have to get an intersection and the midpoint is disturbing us we shall uh, switch off the midpoint for a while now once again then this is going to be the intersection this is going to the center of the pentagon and then whatever the remaining points are that that is the five different corners has to be projected till the x y line and then we know that the front view of a uh, prism is always a rectangle hence we will go to the rectangle command with the thickness of 0 0.5 millimeter starting with this as the primary and this as the second row that is first and second point the width is going to be selected and the height is given as 60 millimeter one can set the height as 60 millimeter now one can see that the required front view has been obtained now the front view we have to complete it by these lines now this is going to be the visible edge I am going to darken this line and the next one is going to be the axis line so we shall draw a line we will convert this line into a chain line with a thickness of 0 0.13 millimeter so that it is going to represent a axis then make use of uh, the smart dimensions or distance between command show that the size of the pentagon is 25 millimeter and height of the axis is 60 millimeter then using the text command start giving the namings to the respective corners as a a1 and this corner will be taken as b b1 and then we will be marking this corner as c and then c1 and this corner as d d1 and this corner as e e1 and then finally this will be taken as o o1 and in the front view the bottom base will be taken as e1 dash then b1 dash e1 dash b1 dash along with that e1 dash and then we have o1 dash o1 dash and then c1 dash then we have d1 dash then in the friend uh, the top base will be named as a dash b dash e dash o dash then c dash d dash now the front view is completed in all aspects as per the given condition now draw the projections of the prism when the axis is inclined at hp at 40 degree now the axis is supposed to be inclined to hp at 40 degree now select the front view and go to a command called as move 
move with respect to the c1 dash d1 dash and reposition that c1 d1 dash c1 dash d1 dash properly on the x y line then go for rotate command rotate the base at an angle of 90 minus theta the angle theta is 40 degrees so 90 minus theta is supposed to be the rotation angle then make use of angle between command now one can see that the rotation angle is 40 degree now to get the space in the third stage using the move command one will rotate sorry move this solid slightly towards the left side so that the proper space is available for us for the next stage and then after which we will slightly relocate these corners so that uh, it will not disturb the next stage and then make use of a line command with respect to the thickness of 0 0.13 start drawing the projectors from each and every corners to the top view now the respective corners are keep on projecting if there is any distraction is going to be happened now one can lock the respective values as 0 degrees and 90 degrees respectively now after drawing these projectors then make use of a command called as uh, the text and start giving the namings for the respective corners as a1 this as b1 this is going to be c1 and this is going to be d1 and this is going to be e1 and this is going to be o1 in the same fashion a b c d and this is going to be the corner e and then using a line command with a thickness of 0 0.5 millimeter first has to be joined as the boundary line that is a1 to b1 b1 to b then c then d then it is going to be e then e1 back to a1 now the boundary line is finished now identify the visible base make it as visible base the visible base is in the top view when it is observed from the top a b c d is nearer to the observer a1 b1 c1 d1 is away from the observer so these edges must be invisible edges now b to a is visible and a to a is visible whereas the base edges which are not on the boundary for the bottom base is invisible that is b1 to c1 c1 to d1 d1 to e1 is going to be the invisible edges now the longer edges has to be connected now the longer edge is to be connected that is the longer edge a a1 is passing inside the invisible base hence must be visible then the longer edge which is passing inside the so the longer edge dd1 is passing inside the invisible base sorry visible base hence it must be invisible so this line must be invisible in the same fashion the next longer edge cc1 is partially passing inside the visible base hence it must be invisible then the longer edge a uh, sorry e1 and bb1 is already on the boundary line which is always visible then make use of a line command with a thickness of 0 0.13 without forgetting one has to draw a axis line from the end point of o dash to o1 so here one can observe the o is not created so we'll uh, tell, uh, name the corner as o now after which the edge which is on uh, vp is inclined at 30 degree now the length of dc you can see me measures the same that is d1 c1 is 25 that is a true length and the given angle is true uh, true angle so with respect to that one will construct a 30 degree line like this then the 30 degree line what we have created is with respect to x y line enter the angle as 30 degree now i will uh, shift this slightly towards the bottom so that the line is properly visible to us because the more space is needed here then one can select the top view completely along with uh, a1 then make use of uh, move command move this with respect to the d1 that is corner d1 it should be positioned anywhere on the 30 degree line and then go for rotate command now d1 is uh, supposed to be taken as first point 
and C1 is going to be taken as rotating point and that point should be available on the 30 degree line like this. Now one can see that the resting edge is inclined to HP at 30 degree. Now I'll just bring the corner D towards the bottom and I'll just slightly reposition the corners. Now make use of a line command with thickness of 0 0.13 start drawing the projectors from the respective corners to complete the front view. So for which one has to be very careful to connect the respective corners properly. Now B is connected then E is going to be finished then we have the next right extreme corner as CD. So now to get the CD one has to enter the angle as 90 degree to avoid any confusions. So CD is also going to be completed now and the end point O dash is connected to O dash then finally the remaining corner will be A dash here. Now A dash is going to be connected and then we will go to the bottom base that is the right extreme corner will be taken as B1 dash. So B1 dash is at this height to avoid confusion lock the angle as 90 degree. So connect B1 dash to B1 dash and then B1 dash E1 dash is also there. We will connect it to E1 dash. Then C1 dash is on the XY line angle 90 degree projected up to xy line and d1 dash is also up to the xy line angle should be locked as 90 degree then we have o1 dash just move the cursor on the axis line we will get the axis position properly then o1 dash is connected to o1 dash and then finally a1 dash is to be connected to a1 dash so we will connect a1 dash to a1 dash then make use of the text command start giving the namings for the corners so this will be taken as a1 dash and here b1 dash and here it will be c1 dash and this will be e1 dash Sorry, D1 dash is not represented. So this is going to be the D1 dash and this is going to be E1 dash and this is going to be the O1 dash. Now here B dash is represented not the B1 dash. So we will edit it and make it as B1 dash. Then make use of the text command once again. Name the corners here. This as A dash, B dash, C dash and this is going to be D dash and this is going to be E dash and this corner is going to be the O dash. Now one has to complete the boundary first. Now when we go for a line command with thickness of 0.5 millimeter and a continuous line, now we shall start the boundary with E1 dash. E1 dash to E dash, A dash, B dash, C dash then going to be the C1 dash, D1 dash and E1 dash is going to be the boundary. Now after completing the boundary identify the visible base make it as visible. A1, B1, C1, D1 is nearer to the observer and it must be visible base that is E1 to A1 dash, A1 dash to B1 dash, B1 dash to C1 dash is visible edges. Now in the same fashion the ABCD base is invisible because it is away from the observer and nearer to the XY line. Now, those base edges must be shown as invisible base edges that is C dash to D dash and up to E dash it is supposed to be a invisible edge. Now inside the visible base such of the longer edges which are passing either partially or completely must be invisible that is if I am going to connect D D1 dash it will become a invisible edge. Now in the same fashion vice versa is also be there that is inside the invisible base whatever the lines which are passing is always visible that is BB1 dash is partially passing inside the invisible base it must be visible and AA1 dash is partially passing inside the invisible base it must be visible. Now one can see that the longer edges CC1 and EE1 is the boundary it must be always visible. Then using a line command with respect to the chain line of 0.13 mm thickness connect O1 dash to O dash. Now one can say that the problem is completed as per the given condition in all aspects. If anyone is having any sort of doubts to solve this problem, please feel free to contact me. 
also kindly share this video to all your first year engineering students and do not forget to subscribe once again thanks for watching my video